A chord is 10 centimeters long. The chord's perpendicular bisector is 24 centimeters long. Find all the lengths you can. So we have a circle. We have a chord which is 10 centimeters long. The chord's perpendicular bisector is 24 centimeters long. So that means this, the uh, chord that bisects our original chord and is perpendicular. Well, if this original chord was 10 and it's now being bisected, we know this is 5 and we know this is 5. We know this whole length here is 24. If we go to Geometry's sketch pad, maybe make a, a new document here, and we make a circle, and we make a chord like we have, and we make a perpendicular bisector of that chord. First we can construct a midpoint, then we construct a line that's perpendicular to this segment through this point. Now as I drag this around, hopefully you're starting to see something that appears to be always true. And that is that this perpendicular bisector, this highlighted segment here, is always going through the center. And that's going to be true for any chord here and any perpendicular bisector of any chord. So a very important fact that we now know is that if we have the perpendicular bisector of a chord, that has to be the diameter. And we can prove that using what we know about perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors always make isosceles triangles from any point. And because these two points need to be equidistant from the center, we know the center of the circle is going to be some point on this line. If that point is on this line, we must know that this line is the diameter. So if we know that this perpendicular bisector is 24, we know the diameter is 24. Any perpendicular bisector of a chord is the diameter. So that means the radius is 12. Which means if we draw in these strategic radii here, we know that these are 12. Now it's just a matter of uh, very similar to the, f the, the first few problems, using the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this third side. So we can call this x, and we know that 12 squared equals x squared plus 5 squared. 144 equals x squared plus 25. x squared equals 119. x equals square root of 119. So this is the square root of 119. Since we know that this whole length is 12, and this portion is 119, we can get this portion here because it's got to be the length of 12 minus the part that's already taken up here, square root of 119. So I think those are all the lengths we can find. But again, the big idea here is that when we have a chord's perpendicular bisector, a segment that bisects the chord and is perpendicular to it, we know that segment has to be the diameter of the circle.